or start start getting right into it <laughs> didn't even give myself the time to breathe okay um how are we doing i see it am i gonna see it here ah is it working yep there we go okay cool and my phone starts blowing up uh hopefully the audio sounds good i'm gonna do a quick check per usual um you know what? maybe i should do a check whenever we get into the actual game but today main plan only plan really is we are going to be doing which would that's the game. I keep mixing up Witchwood with another game I play called Wildermyth. I might do a Wildermyth run one day. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing Witchwood. Um, maybe we'll get a couple chapters in. We'll see how long I'll go because this game has so much uh, talking. But I am very excited to play and I really want to get uh, most of it done. Because we, so far, have only done four <laughs> chapters out of 14. And I feel like I've been on this game, like I've been popping it in and out for almost two months now. So I'm taking the time and getting it done now. I'm going to be solely focusing on games when it comes to streams. Um, I appreciate variety and all that. But I really do think I need to, like, get it done. Get some stuff done. I've also been enjoying solely playing a game instead of switching around and all that. I feel like it's less stressful on me as well. So that is the plan today. And for some reason, my chat is disabled. Uh, let's see. Pop out chat. Why is my chat disabled? Some browser. There we go. Okay, now I can see YouTube chat. But let me get into... Okay, I'm gonna stop that music. Hi, James. Welcome in. Happy Friday. It's Friday, right? Happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let me see here. What did I just see? Ah. Okay. So the game sounds low right now. I don't know if it's because we're not in yet. I forgot what the music is like. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's just pop in real quick to do an audio check. Okay, it looks pretty low, and I feel like the rain is like the loudest thing you can have. Okay, so how is that? Let me check on my phone real quick. Uh, okay, I see. It. I think it needs to go up a little bit. Oh my gosh! Oh wait, what? It said I hit. It, did it just say I hit ten thousand views? I can't tell. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It'll do. It'll do. Um, if it doesn't do, then I'll cry about it. But I think it looks pretty good. So let's just get into it. We did... Last time I played, we did the leech. And the leech was one of my favorite ones. That was one of the only ones that I remembered. Um, so now we are going to do the final one of the first four which is the ox. And the ox, I think, is in the farm area. I think it's in the farm area. Let's see. Uh, up here? Is it up here? I know there's a teleporter somewhere. Uh, no, you're not a teleporter. <laughs> Where is it? Did I pass it? Is it... Oh, shoot. I might as well walk then. Where is it? No, not here. There it is. Ha ha. Yee. I think the ox one is a cool one too, if I remember. Like, I can't remember. It was either like cool or really boring. I'm hoping it's cool. 
All right, here we go. Um, the ox. I think we have to talk to the squash farmer, and he's up here. Here he is. Hello. A hefty gourd stands before you, wiping beads of dew off his bumpy forehead. He tilts up the brim of his hat and greets you with what you interpret as a smile. Welcome to my farm, stranger. What brings you out here? How's it growing, farmer? <laughs> oh, you know, not so bad. Trying my best Vinzy Harvest competition this year. Well, you look to be making good progress. I'm sure you'll be a shoe-in for the blue ribbon. You would think would z <laughs> these V's and Z's. You would think so, wouldn't you? But every year, Vizut fail. That sour ox takes the prize. No matter how hard I work, I can't seem to outgrow his crops. Careful now. You're beginning to sound like a sore loser. <laughs> ja, ja. Not sore loser. I just think it's quite suspicious, don't you? Last year, the ox and his family grew the largest corn cobs I have ever seen. I was only barely able to get second place because of my own little helpers. He motions to animated turnips and potatoes busy with menial farm work. But this year, his crops are larger than ever before. Even though his family is nowhere to be seen, it doesn't make any sense to me. He's working in the f he's working the fields all by himself. What happened to his family? That's the fishy part. No one knows. They just disappeared one day, and the ox has said nothing. Hmm, that does sound suspicious. Perhaps I'll go and ask him myself. Ja ja, his farm is down to the to the southwest. Sa south vest <laughs> you can't miss it i must get back to work veggies won't grow themselves you know very true you have a nice cabbage baby going on new chapter the ox shadowed way you say southwest ah okay so it's in a separate area got it mm. <laughs> speak to the ox in his farm Ooh, I okay. Now it's try. It's clicking. It's clicking in my head what this one's about. This one's awesome. This one's pretty on the darker end. Uh, I'm lost already. Where do I go? Oh, down there. Hi, Anna. Welcome in. I'm trying my best, Anna. I swear. Here we are. Ooh, what's this? Can I harvest that? No. Oh, he's got a doggy! Hi! This old pooch deserves a treat. Can we give him one? Oh, he also has a little helper. Well, we don't need to mess with them yet. He's got chickens. He's got poop. Whoa. That gourd head is bound to rot. Why is it moving? And there he is. <laughs> he's so big! <laughs> he's so big! Look at that hump. Hey, this is private property. What are you doing trespassing on my land? Why, I just came to admire the glow of your crops, Master Ox. I heard you produce the most bountiful pro uh, produce in the land. Ha! Well, you heard right. I work day in and day out till my hands raw and my back is broken. But you won't find a finer farm anywhere else. You're sure to take first prize at the Harvest Festival again. You and your family must be so proud. The Ox spits on the tilled soil. Puh! Those lazy louts never understood the pride and joy of devoting oneself to the land. What's good? What's good? Wait, what good's a family that gripes about hard labor? We have never won any of those competitions if it wasn't for my sacrifice. Where is your family then? I can't help but notice you're working all by yourself. If you must know, those damnable bandits out by the South Bridge stormed in the place one night and stole them away. Bandits? You don't seem very concerned about getting them back. Ha! I'm better off. For all I know, they could have been already ransomed off for fertilizer. But if you're so worried, why don't you go talk to those bloody brigands yourself? Now get your big nose off my field, or I'll toss you into the compost heap. Okay. Lovely man. Very lovely. Where's your... You don't really have big crops here. Like, what are these? You got mid crops. That's a pretty big sniffer. <laughs> it is, you're, you're right, you're right. Hi, Tyler. Where are these bandit fields? Uh, I think... 
Oh, right here? Wow. <laughs> Literal neighbors. Okay. Guys, did you steal his wife? Do I have to- Oh, no. What do you need? Dreadful doll? How do I- Oh, wait. Actually, I might be able to make it. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna use it just yet. I just want to get around you guys. No. Charge! There are far too many for me to just sneak by. I'll have to find a way to incapitate them. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Ow! Yeah, yeah, fear me! What's in here? Ooh, thank you. Fear me! Oh, hello. Ah, sly old fox. How'd you manage to get your creaky bones past me grunts? <laughs> My mooks must be getting fat around the waist to let you slip by so easy. Never too old to teach some youngins that hands are better left out of people's pockets. Next time I catch one of your thugs rooting for gold, they'll have to recount their fingers. Ha ha ha! Ain't afraid of nothing, are ya? Well, let me be the first to welcome you to our merry camp. Though I suspect you didn't come to just sc or come just to scold us. What do you know about the ox who works in the southern fields? He told me his family might have come through this way. Oh yeah? We know all about the ox. We also might have seen that family of his, but on the other hand, maybe we didn't. What's it to you? Listen up, you big lug. That information is just about the only thing stopping me from changing the whole lot of you into stinking chickens. <laughs> Alright, Granny. I don't need to get upset. I'm just playing games, you know? Yeah, we've seen that family. Boy and his mom, if I remember. Always walking in that big ox of shadow. Always looking afraid of him, too. So you didn't kidnap them? Where are they now? You know, you remind me of... You remind me, dear... Uh, you remind me of... You remind me of me, dear old ma. She didn't take no guff from no one, ne neither. Ah, she used to bake the most delicious meat pies. I, should do, I sure do miss her cooking. Me and the boys have been awful hungry lately. Thieving is hard work and crime doesn't always pay. I have to give you pie? Say, you know how to bake? I even got my uh, pie recipe right here. Who knows on a full stomach? I might even remember something about that missing family. Humble pie. Okay. Uh, let's see. Humble pie. No! What is this? Dough? Do I have enough for meat? Okay, I have enough for spices. But I don't have enough freaking embers. Do I have to do this potion again, too? Like, how temporary is it? Okay, so that's enough. Oh, no. Are you mad at me now? Oh, no, they're chilling. Well, I guess you're in now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I guess I am here. There's... Oh, let me get this, too. Uh... Boink! Okay. Um... Make that. And then... I can make... Crow's foot and dough. I need eggs and moo moos. Can I harvest from the cows without a jar? Or do I really need to make jars? Because if I need to make jars, I'm going to be very upset. Can I just harvest from you? Gosh dang it, I need to make jars. <laughs> do I have enough? Oh, oh, I do have enough! Let's go. Easy. Okay. Here you go, Moo Moo. Thank you. And then... Eggs. Fields in the market. We have not seen a market. Here we go. Where are your eggs at? Can I get these? No. Uh, oh, I just need to interact. <gasps> ah, so easy! I just take them out of their butt! Okay. Got the dough, and now we need crow's feet. Are there crows here? I think there's crows here. Um, where are the crows? Oh, there they are. No! Snap trap. Can you make two of those? Please tell me I have enough. <gasps> I do! And then... Oh, kidoki. Ah! 
Ha! Do I get two legs? Why do I only get one? Who are you? Good day to you. Are you related to the squash man? Maybe it doesn't matter where I place them. There you go. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, eat some. Eat some, it's okay. It's delicious. Wait, are you actually not gonna... There you go. Done. One pie. There we go. Oh, greedy fat man, I have your pie. Mummy's recipe. Yeah. Ooh, these respawned. Don't mind if I do. What are these little things for? I still have not found a whole reason to use them. <laughs> Say, do you know? okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Fee fi fo fum. I want a pie in my tummy tum tum. Come on then, have a helping. The bandit plunges his hand into the pie, grabbing a fistful. He barks in delight as wet chunks of pie filling spatter out of his gob. Ew! Ah, delish, just like how Ma used to make. But some different. He picks a small black feather from between his yellow teeth. Is this crow? I figured you could do with a serving of humility. The gargantuan man's lips begin to quiver. Great watery tears will open his beady eyes. What's the matter, dearie? Are the spices too strong? <laughs> no, it ain't the spices. It's just... It's just... He deteriorates into great shuddering sobs that shakes the camp. Moss always said I was a bad seed. Said I weren't good enough... I weren't, I weren't good for nothing but eating and thieving. But all I really wanted to do was dance. I was gonna make the greatest dance troupe the world has ever seen. Had a name in my in my in mind in everything. Pick and leaping the pick and the leaping pockets. But but I ain't been doing nothing but taking. Always taking. Oh Ma was right. I'm a bad apple. Come on now, dry those eyes. You're not all that bad. He snorts a dangling glob of snot back into his nose. Oh, you really think so? You gently reassure him with another helping of pie. Of course not. You're not going to. You're going to tell me all about the Ox's family, aren't you? Oh, right. Well, you see, we've been spying on that ox for years now. Every full moon, he go out into his fields all by his lonesome. He'd howl at the sky. What was it he say? Oh yeah, he'd yell, Abraca corn cob! <laughs> and it always sounded like he got into an argument with someone, but there was never anyone there, except that creepy old scarecrow of his. You pat the sniffling rogue on his stubbly cheek. That's a good lad. Maybe it's time to think about trading the daggers for dance shoes. He stuffs more handfuls of the crumbling pie between his blubbering lips. <laughs> Yes'm, I'll do it. I'll dance. <laughs> Still weeping into his pie. Aww. Well, I hope you guys like dancing, because it seems like your boss is going to make you dance, partners. So speak to the scarecrow. So it wasn't like out here in the field. He would be in his property. Okay. All right, Mr. Scarecrow, you got a lot of explaining to do. This eerie simulacrum of a human sways in the breeze. Its lumpy face seems to leer down at you as if expecting something. Ah, Abra Corn Cop? The figure creaks against its pole as its vegetative head twists to look at you. It takes a wheezing breath, expelling a moth from its mouth hole. Hello, yes? Have you come to strike a deal with the great and magni magnanimous harvest master? Oh, no thank you. I'm involved in quite too many dark contracts with supernatural beings already. Why then have you summoned me? Has the ox made a deal with you, perchance? The ox? Why yes! Terrible trade, I say, but a deal's a deal. 
What sort of trade? Does it have to do with his missing family? Yes! He said he wanted to win pretty prizes! Grow the best crops! Said he would give up anything in the world! So he offered me his wife and son! And I'm not one to refuse a bargain like that! Where are they? What did you do with them? Don't worry! They're fine! But as long as I make the crops grow, they belong to me! And if the crops should fail, your deal would be broken. Ha! I'm the great harvest master! My harvest will never fail! We'll see about that. I better take a closer look at these prize-winning plants. Oh. Okay. Sorry, Ox. I didn't mean to talk to you about your things right in front of you. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to take a look at? Oh! Withering can. These crops are robust, thriving beyond anything else nearby. What are they? Harumph. These stalks don't look so sturdy to me. A good herbicide ought to shrivel these right up. That'll teach that ox a lesson about proper agricultural practices. I'll need a study and I need a sturdy enough vessel to hold the poison though. Maybe I can convince that vegetal fellow to give up that nice big watering can of his. Great, striking deals with everybody right now. We can't make our own? Well I guess that would take too long. We make potions and traps. Definitely not watering cans. How will we know that his watering can will work? That's messed up, though. Sacrificing your, your your wife and child for some pretty crops. Hey, buddy. Well, hello again! Find out any zing about what that ox is up to? As a matter of fact, I have. It seems he traded his family to a turnip wizard or field genie or some other such nonsense. Ah, you must mean the harvest master. That explains a lot, actually. Bad business gets to get mixed up with that sort of fellow. The farmer nervously wipes his brow with the back of his leafy hand. Uh, not that I would know anything about that myself. <laughs> Listen, I don't have time to exchange farm gossip. I need to borrow your watering can over there. Ah, I'd be happy to lend it to you. But unfortunately, I still need to grow my prize vinning vegetable. You glance down at the fat head of the cabbage, bobbing gently against the blanket of big, swaddling leaves. You think you may have heard a faint giggle coming from deep within the fronds? Seems plenty big enough to me. Ah, just you wait. My little baby is going to grow up to be a great big baby. <laughs> it's going to be the belle of the ball at this year's festival. But if it were to, say, grow a little bit faster, I suppose I wouldn't need my watering can at all. You swear the farmer winks at you <laughs> despite not being equipped with any eyes. <laughs> uh, does nobody here grow produce in an honest way? Let me take a look at that little tyke. A little baby cabbage! You look down at the fattest little cabbage you've ever seen. But, it gets, but if it gets your hands on that watering can... You could stand to be a little fatter. It could stand to be a little fatter. Growth potion. Turkey gizzard stone. T t two jars of water. Okay. Uh, okay, let's... What's growth potion? Oh, I thought that it was more meat again. Growth potion. Oh, I'm gonna have to make so many jars. Oh, no. I'm gonna have... I need three jars. Oh, I could do it. We are fine with that. Oh, I need mosquito stuff. That means I need smoke pellet. Alright, let's see if I can get a few mosquitoes in. But And I need to get jars of water. Dang it. Uh, let me get... Thank you. And then... What else do I... Just, just before I go... So I need blood. Do I have what I need for this? I do now. Uh... I need that, and then... Turkey Gizzard. I know the turkeys are in the top left, top left of the um, farm area, so maybe I'll figure it out there. Hopefully I don't need to go to the swamp twice. I should have probably checked. Here you go, mesquites. Can I get, like, two of you? Yeah, come here. Come here, come on, come on. Ha-ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I needed a refill on the little uh, needles anyways. Well, that was quick. 
And then jars of water. Oh, I know what I need. The the turkeys use this. Right, 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 right. Okay, so I do need to go to the swamp for another snail. Yeah, I think the turkeys are weak to the indigestion pills. So let me get you. Thank you. Let's get some mushrooms and then we'll head and get some water. Uh, I have no idea where that just took- Oh, I know where I am. I'm over here. Now we have to go... In here. Yep. Got your water! Okay, now we just need to get- Did I craft these already? No. Oh, I need to get goblin snot. Goblin snot? What am I gonna do with goblin snot? Oh, goblin snot, goblin snot. Where are even goblins? Have we encountered a goblin at all in the other area? I don't even think we have. Unless they're talking about the little turnip things, but I doubt they are. Okay, goblins, 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 goblins. Uh, you're not a goblin. All right, you're a changeling. Oh, I know where the goblins are. They are, I think on that side of the area, right? Yeah, they're over here. You're not a goblin. No, you're a farmhand. I think, no, these are the goblins. Yeah, no, those are not the goblins. Those are pumpkin jacks. This is definitely not goblins. What the frick is this area? Okay. Well, excuse me. Mm. No, no. Are the goblins up? Are these goblins? No, these are gnomes. I don't think we need to kill gnomes. We need to kill gnoblins. Chicken. What? Goblin's not in the forest. Oh my gosh, this is not the forest. That was my issue. Haha, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Excuse me, everybody. Excuse me. So what are they? What's the goblin? In the is it talking about where the fairies used to be at? That's the only other area. No, that's a swamp. That's the only other area I can think of. The area where we helped with the snake. I think it's all the way over here. I think. Oh gosh, I don't know. But yeah. Um definitely want to get this game done a little sooner with streaming. So I'm probably gonna be playing this one more often. I don't know how long I'll stream for though. Mm, are these goblins? Ah, no, I need to make another dreadful doll. Oh, oh my gosh, I have enough. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, ah, what the frick was that? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, they cry. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So I just come in here, make them cry, make them go boo-hoo. Oh, that's why I never did it, because I think I snuck around. Oh, I'm going to die. I need to heal. Woo. Cool. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was the closest I've ever been to dying. But we got it all. So now we can make this. This. And... There we go. Oh, I've had goblin snot before. I just totally forgot what I got it. Gosh, my heart is racing now. Hoo hoo! That was so close! Alright. E up here. Binky. Wonky. Right 
down here. I saw a turkey down here when I was looking for the goblins. Uh, it's over. There he is. Here you go. Eat it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now we got everything. Uh, up here, right? Yeah, I got your little goodies. You look down at the fattest little cabbage. All right, here's a group potion. You pop open the cork of the potion and sprinkles a bright liquid onto the cabbage's roots. You look okay. A uh, gizzard stone. Crushed into fine powder, a gizzard stone lends pot uh, potent nutrients to the soil. And then water. You spritz the cabbage with fresh, clear water while uttering a simple horticultural charm. The water beads like dew drops before the leaves drink them up and brighten in color. The budding plant changes into to a bright purple, then blue, then yellow. It suddenly goes rigid and shrinks to the size of a marble. The farmer gasps in horror as his precious baby disappears back into the earth. He turns to you, shoulders stiff and pitchfork in hand. He takes one step in your direction, but stops abruptly when a tremor shakes the ground. You look to your feet and watch a deep crack split the earth. Hold on to your hat. This one's going to be big. <laughs> you hear a booming giggle echo from deep in the ground. Uh, the, vegeta the vegetal farmer falls to his knees, clutching his hat to his chest. Oh, look how cute he is! <laughs> He's so cute! In an explosion of leafy greens and flying earth, the bouncing head of an enormous cabbage erupts into the field. The farmer reaches out to it shakily. My... My little baby? Papa? <laughs> the farmer scrambles towards the big bumbling cabbage with open arms. My beautiful baby! Look at how big you've grown! See, with a little love and a help from your friends, you're sure to win first prize after all. Oh, I don't even care about all that silly zing anymore. Just look how handsome my baby is. The two embrace, laughing and crying. I guess you won't be needing that watering can anymore? Please, help yourself. You've helped me more than, more than enough. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, baby. He's <laughs> so cute! <laughs> That's an adorable thing! He's so cute! It gurgles at you gleefully. <laughs> Thanks for the watering can! It'll take some work to break through the Scarecrow's magical boon, but you're confident in your mastery of poisons. Oh! Now, Potion of Blight, Weird Water, Pumpkin Jack Bone. Okay, so let's... this one. Oh no, I need another jar! Why do you make me run to get water? And I'm out of that. Okay, I need one jar. I need to get a newt and a newt. I think a newt uses a snap trap. So I need that. Okay. I'm gonna have to get more reeds. Um, newt eye, weird water, and then pumpkin jack bone. Oh, here we go. I need this to make. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I definitely need to get more materials. We're running a little low, a little low, a little too uncomfortable. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little weary. I don't need to be running around again, so I'll have to be collecting a little bit more. What did these- I figured out the pumpkin jacks needed. Was it a smoke bomb they needed? Let me see. Snag vine. Snag vine should be fairly easy. I really can't collect water from here. Mm. I mean, if I actually hover over it in a jar of water. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? In the fields. I can't get a jar of water in the fields. How? kind of want to stay as much as I can in the same spot. Mm. So let me make a snag vine. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, we are... Little, little, low, little, low, little, low. Um, oh wait, maybe... Oh no. Did this not need it? Was it new? Oh! Yep, there it is. I needed this. Dang it! <laughs> I keep making the wrong things! Um, snag vine. Alright, buddy. Come here. No! Come oh, they run away. I thought they attack. 
And then, boop. Thank you. How do I get water? I want to figure that out, but I don't know how. Is there like a well here or something? Can I actually just get it from the river, but at a certain spot? Hmm. Well, let me make a couple jars. I think I need- how many jars of water do I need? I need just one. There has to be a way to get water around here. I'm really determined to find it. Also, we haven't been using any lazy grass either. I wonder what that's going to be used for. Can I actually? Collect? No! What? How do I collect? Here? No. Hmm. Is there? I don't see a well. And up here is the, uh... What do you call it? Where the bee was. Little flower area. No, nothing up there. If I look on my map, will it tell me? Will it show me? Uh... I mean, you would think with all this water right here. I don't think it's there. Oh, what is that? That's like a birdhouse. That wasn't there before. Dang it, I might just go to the to the woods because it seems a little bit more difficult. Oh, green, cool. Mm, not there. Excuse me, do you have water? Oh, you do! Thank you! Much appreciated! Okay, we got that. Now we gotta go get Eye of Newt. Um, and that's it. Oh, okay. Easy. And the portal we are right next to, actually. Sweet. Hi, Vora! Welcome in! Much appreciated for you to join! Alright, let's see. Over here. Over here. Nudes for me were a little hard to find, so hopefully I can just find one really quick. I think the last time I saw one, it was... I should actually start collecting this stuff while I'm here. Uh, last time I saw one was kind of by Grandma. I'll go check by her real quick. Take all that. Oh, I didn't realize he's here! <laughs> he's just here chilling? Love, wife. Thank you, sister. He's good as new. <laughs> That's so cute. I didn't realize that he just came here to chill out. Aww. Well, I'm glad they're able to be together again. Let's see. Digging. Oh, that's the froggy. I don't know if we need more froggoo, but... It helps. Let's get this. Oh, I think it was like when I destroyed one of those log homes, it appeared. Yeah, it was definitely when I was destroying the logs. There's another log up here. Right? No? What's that thing sparkling? Is that behind it? What is that? What? Okay, never mind, I guess. Uh, where? Mm. No, that's not it. That's just dort. Let's see. Mm. Oh! No! Use the hatchet! What am I doing? There we go! Eee, it's gonna get me! <laughs> Please leave me alone! Okay, cool. Here you go, you little rat. Eat it! Good. Thank you. Alright, where is the portal to get out of here? Is it up uh, here? It's up. Over here? No. How do I lose things so quickly? Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, and the potion is right over here. I got what I need! 
There we go. Thank you, I'm such a proud papa. Aww. Uh, pushing a blight. You hold your breath and empty the poisonous vial into the container. The toxic fumes make your fingernails curl. Ooh! Uh, weird water. A good amount of weird water will dilute the poison to keep it from eating straight through the metal can. Okay, and then pumpkin jack bone. You crush up the impish bone into fine powder. This potent fertilizer will help spread the blight. Hmm. You find a hefty stick to mix all the ingredients together inside the watering can. You know your work is done when the stick dissolves into mush in your hands. Take it. Ooh, we got it. You're done for. You're screwed. Your crops are about to go bye-bye. I hope it was worth it, you buffoon. Giving up your wife and your child for a corn? Maybe a good sweet potato, but corn? Where, how do I, over here? Gosh dang it, so slow. I need like a little bicycle. Can I get like an old lady bicycle? Hey, I thought I told you to beat it. He raises his hoe and brandishes at it at you menacingly. Leave me alone! Ah! <laughs> what about your crops now, little loser? Oh, this! Haha! <laughs> You're done! You watch the sickness spreading up the stalks to the very tip of the tallest leaves. Vivid green turns to diseased brown as the crops bend and droop. No! What is happening? Harvest Master, we had a deal! You promised my crops would never fail! Dreadfully sorry! Looks like my magic is broken! Not my fault! The ox throws himself to the ground, desperately raking the soil with his fingers. Wait, let's make a new deal, please! I sacrificed too much for this! A new deal? What is your offer? Anything you want, just bring my precious crops back to me! Anything? This is acceptable! Worm-like roots suddenly wrap around the ox's feet and begin dragging him into the soil. Yeah! Wait, I didn't mean- Oh, you're done! <laughs> Hope it was worth it. The dust settles over the spot where the ox once stood as if nothing had happened. Though the soil looks barren and diseased, a small sprout of leafy green catches your eye. <gasps> Is that the spirit of the ox? <laughs> oh, look at that. Where the ox once stood, yep, a green tendril has pushed its way through the earth. You watch a delicate blossom unfurl, revealing a stubborn, hard-shelled seed. The soul of the ox. Yay! The souls of the bear, leech, snake, and ox jostle in your satchel with fearful energies. That's that then. I better get these back home to the goat before he ransacks the rest of my place. Do we- is this? Return home. Time to go home. Uh, wait. Does it waste it? Frick, I don't remember. Oh, it does. Whoops. Well, you know what? That makes my life a little bit quicker. Mr. Go, I totally forgot what voice I gave you, so I'm just going to make up another one. Uh, is he in my house? Are you in my house? No. Gosh, I have such a nice, cozy place. Are you over here? Oh, are you in here with the lady? What are you doing in here with her? A little creepy if you ask me. Gosh, the amount of roses. The goat rears its head at the sight of you. Its hooves pound the ground excitedly. Most excellent. I can sense the presence of the spirits about you. You must have captured the souls I've asked for. No small task, I can tell you that. Just what do you plan on doing with them? Oh, this and that. Nothing you must concern yourself with. What's important is that you are one step closer to fulfilling your contract with me. Just go ahead and place them in the shrine there. I'll take care of the rest. The goat shakes its head toward a carved relief at the back of the room, grinning in a horrible way that no goat should. <laughs> you approach the shrine and open your satchel, the stuffed bear. As you bring the stuffed bear close to the carved stone, 
relief in the wall, it spontaneously bursts into flames in your hands, burning away until only a harsh red stone remains. The stone zips out of your grasp and straight into a socket on the wall, buzzing like some angry insect. Oh! You are buffeted by flashes of the bear's wrath, drunken roaring, cowering bodies, splintered wood, the smell of honey. Dried worm. As with the first, the mummified husk of the leech turns to ash as you bring it close to the wall, leaving only a glowing orb in its place. Images of the leech slither into your mind. The prick of a needle, the drip, drip, drip of draining fluids, soothing words, restless sleep, cracked mirror. Prismatic colors flash through your head at the thought of the snake, secrets lapped up by a forked tongue, whispers beneath the sound of, the, of festivities, hardened seed. The ox brings with him the overbearing heat of the midday sun, the salty tang of sweat in the soil, suffering, sacrifice, solitude. Did we not save the ox's mom and son then? Dang. You step away from the shrine and its smoldering stones. Your burdens suddenly feel much lighter. Beside you, the sleeping maiden stirs in her slumber, but does not wake. She's so pretty. Now then, you have a very long day. Why don't you get some rest? Tomorrow we shall pick up bright and early. Yes, I am quite tired what does he do to us to want to like sleep oh it's weird oh it makes me feel weird icky icky goat icky goat gosh i only sleep in a chair who is this was that painting always here who is she is that me and who is this this looks like edward from freaking twilight <laughs> okay all right good morning Another day, another dollar. Ah, uh, ah, good morning, my swamp lily. I trust you slept well. Like the dead. You stretch out your back, making a sound like snapping twigs. Well, no time to dilly-dally. I sense the next four souls on our list. You must travel east, out of the forest, and towards civilization. Ugh, I hate crowds. Well, it can't be helped. You must seek out these souls in the village, the market, the docks, and the graveyard. Hmm, the graveyard might at least be a reprieve from chattering townsfolk. Alright, go. I'll bring you your souls. You seem much more reasonable today. Have a change of heart, perchance? If these next four are anything like the last, they'll get what's coming to them. I'm glad we have reached an understanding. Oh, the cat, the rat, the fish, the ram. The cat is in the market. We're gonna go in order this time. The leech I always found the coolest. I wanted to do it somewhat last, but this time I'm just gonna go in order. I think the ram is the most like spicy one anyways. Uh, the cat is in the market, and the market's up here. So am I gonna have to like go through a bunch of things? Like, what is this? This is the graveyard. This is the docks. One of these is the village and one of these is the market. So I'll go to the field and go, I should be able to go east, maybe. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the village is up, up, upright, not downright. I got little feeties. I got little crow feeties. Crow feeties. Crow feeties. Over here. Up here. Up. Up here. Okay. To the village. I need to find the cat at the market. Oh, look at this place. What is that? My trout can pry this loose. What is it? Cobblestone. Okay, just uprooting stuff. <laughs> what is this little dog doing? An anxious little dog attempts to frantically get the town's guard's attention as they stand watch in front of the smoking ruins of the burned down shop. Please, you have to listen to me. My friend is missing. The guard stifles a yawn, annoyed at having to work. Oh yeah? What's your friend look like? The sleeves of the sheep dog's oversized sweater flail about comically. She's about yay tall, wears a green vest, has black wool. 
So she's one of them sheep, huh? Probably just got lost. You know, them types ain't too bright. She didn't get lost. She's gone missing. Her wool shop it was burnt down on purpose. Can't you smell it in the air? Calm down, sir. We're investigating the situation. But I'm sure this fire was a simple accident. I bet your friend just left the kettle on or something. Why don't you check with the ram in the town square? If anyone knows where the lost sheep is, it's probably him. How can you say that? Everyone knows that the ram hates the black sheep! I forgot everything about the ram. <laughs> Look at these footprints! I bet his goons had something to do with this. Listen, you're starting to get on my nerves. Just leave this to the professionals, alright? He turns away from the dog and goes back to doing absolutely nothing. Professionals indeed. They couldn't find a fish in a frying pan. I better look into this funny business myself. Ah, this is the ram! No! Well, we'll do it anyways. <laughs> I didn't mean to- I literally just was wanting to see if the dog was anything else, but I totally forgot the dog was the start of this. What is that? What is this? Rat nest? I'm sorry. That's a freaking long tail. You have a snake for a tail. Oh, and then we still got shiny lure. Oh, he's a pick pickpocketer. Pigeon, villager. I can pick pickpocket a villager. Okay, let's go find the ram. Man, the ram is a little racist, if you ask me. There is nothing wrong with black sheep. They're kind of cute. Honestly, cuter than white sheep, because white sheep end up always end up looking dirty. Oh, a little kitty cat! Well, the jets are going out right now. Uh, in disinterested in the lowly affairs of humans! Cat treat! <laughs> okay. Uh, let me get some goodies. I'm gonna collect everything I can. Is this him? Look at all these sheeple! I can't believe them. <laughs> oh, man, look at your face. Listen closely, brothers and sisters. We must wear our wool proudly and show the world that that plain is best. That's right, plain wool is the best wool. All of these outlandish colors and head-splitting patterns do nothing but confuse and enrage the senses. They are the product of misled individuals. And as we all know, individuals are weak. Only the united are strong. Together, we speak louder than a single voice. Wait, are all the colors bad then? What about gray? It's almost plain white. Gray is forbidden. Gray is a gateway to blue. And when, when there's blue, green isn't far behind. Then what's next? Yellow? Purple? Even red? Oh no, anything but red. No. Always remember, color leads to discord, to chaos, and with chaos, the wolves will come for us all. Aye, not the wolves. Watch out, there's one right there. The nearest sheep nearly jumps out of his fleece when it notices you. I am not a wolf, you halfwits. Maybe not, but you're different, and that's just as bad. Uh, right, boss? That's right. So what is an outsider want with us? Are you here to tempt my flock with your anarchic ideals? I doubt you lots would have room in your heads for any more ideals. But no, I'm here looking for the black sheep. It seems her shop was burned down last night. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Bah! That bothersome black sheep is a thorn in my side. Never heeds my warnings. Always goes against what's good and proper. But I assure you, I was tending my flock all night, so I had nothing to do with her disappearance. That little sheepdog begs to differ. He says you've always had it out for the black sheep, and I'm inclined to believe him with all your prattling. Lies and slander! You have no proof of any wrongdoing! For all we know, she may have just left the kettle on. As the sheep stomp about, you notice flakes of ash leaving black marks on the cobblestone of the village square. Proof, eh? Looks like to me some of your flock have sooty feet. I wonder where this suspicious trail will lead. Oh! You guys got dirty feet! I'll need to reveal the trail. How? Unveiling powder. This? Oh good, I have enough. Thank God! Ooh! Okay. 
You sprinkle the revealing powder over the cobblestone to reveal hidden footprints still blackened by ash. It appears as though several individuals were dragging something away from the town square last night. Were you guys taking the black sheep out of town? That's so mean! She did nothing to you! Oh, who, are they? who, who is this? Who is, who is An elf? Cute villager pickpocket. Oh, a cute little elf! And then a fountain for something. Fair enough. Can I mess with the fountain? <gasps> ah! Leave me alone! Please! I'm innocent! Oh, do I need to get more? Oh, okay. Alright. Apparently not enough of mailing powder, I see. Oh, Went this way. A struggle must have occurred here. You find the rem remnants of a torn burlap sack and some scattered fistfuls of wool. The footprints leading the away look to be moving at a great speed. Like someone was being chased. Oh, This poor little sheep! Where? Oh, where? Oh, up here. Ooh. This place is big. Oh, are these little flowers? What can I do with this? What is that? Oh, petals! Nice. More! More powder! You act like I'm rich! Okay, where now? A pair of lone footprints duck into this veg into this vegetable garden. You notice some more footprints searching in confused directions farther afield. The black sheep must have been trying to hide from her pursuers. Maybe she managed to throw them off her trail? Is she in here? Oh, she moved over here. Oh, so she made it out! Frick yeah! Is she just hiding now? Oh, <laughs> what is this? That's cute! After following the ashen trail through the back streets, you come to a dead end. Your only company is a stone gargoyle squatting atop a building corner. You stand on your tiptoes to examine the great carved demon closer, noting the lovely knitted scarf billowing around its neck. Hmm, what a fine garment. I could do with this with a new one. It's starting to get chilly. I just hope it hasn't gotten any of that bird poo on it. As you reach up to unwrap the scarf, the gargoyle's eyes swivel in their sockets with a sound like two grinding millstones. Well, excuse me, I'm quite fond of this avian excrement, actually. It adds a touch of authenticity to the whole ensemble, don't you think? Oh, I beg your pardon. Didn't realize I was speaking to a watcher. Ha, <laughs> a watcher? Why is that no one ever comes to watch me? I'm handcrafted from the finest block of artisanal granite, so massively chiseled that I came to life. Nothing on this earth or beyond has a greater claim to beauty than I. And yet, day after day, I sit up here and no one gives me so much as a passing glance. Well, maybe if you cleaned up once in a while. Oh, hush, I don't need to take fashion tips from you. And besides, you only looked up at me because of this fabulous scarf. Admit it. I was merely following this trail of sooty footprints. But now that you mention it, that scarf has a fine knit to it. You didn't happen to get it from the black sheep, did you? Why, where else would I have gotten something so swanky in this dreary little town? That black sheep is the only other person around here that appreciates good taste. Unlike that ghastly ram always ringing that gaudy bell of his of his and poo-pooing everywhere else is fun. This world is alive and needs a good splash of color once in a while. You know where the black sheep is then? Now hold on, how do I know you aren't another agent of the banality like the ram? Just look at that skirt. So last century. You have to prove you're an ally of the fashion scene before I say another word. Now, I've had my eyes on some new shoes for ages. Why don't you just snag a pair from the village? Surely no one will notice. Pah! Those clogs aren't fit for a horse. No, I've got my heart set on elf shoes. Delicate, dainty, exquisite, and absolutely to die for. Plus, I could do with a nice hat to go with my fetching scarf, and maybe some needle and thread to do some alterations. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? The fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around to uh, stand around idle. Three elf shoes? Well, if I count up here a little one and a two, you only have two. Sewing kit, gnome hat. Alright, you little goober. I've never eaten sheep. I wonder if they're tasty. Uh, apparently they're very tasty. Okay, got... 
I have not had sheep either, so I wouldn't know. Sewing kit. That was the last of my needles. Get a gnome hat from the fields? Oh, no. I don't know how to freaking get gnome hats. Mm. Oh, here's an elf. What do I need to do for an elf? Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Shiny lure. Okay. Oh gosh, that's the... That is the last of my reeds. Freak out. <laughs> Oh no, I gotta cut some more reeds. Okay, so do you just like use it up? Do I have like. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Mimic? Oh no! Don't get close, got it. I need three of those? Oh my gosh, I'm so screwed. This is gonna take forever. So I need to make two more of those. Then I need to get elf hats, so I need to get wicker work, so I need to get reeds. I need to get fireflies. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Does Disney have sheep, hypothetically, asking for a friend? Disney does have- I, they do serve lamb at Disney. Especially if you're gonna go to, like, Epcot, they definitely do serve lamb. That is, uh, one of their beautiful options. How do I get out of this town? Is it... Oh, excuse me. Shut up. Leave me alone. Over here. Is it down here? Yeah, it's down here. Actually, I wonder- I need to find the teleporter to that place. I just realized I didn't find it. What was that? Oh, that's the graveyard. Oh, I went the whole wrong way. Uh, I need to find the teleporter. Where would the teleporter be? Mm, I didn't look up here, so maybe there? Yeah, I have no idea. But I definitely want to find it real quick. Make my life a little easier. It makes sense if it's up here. No. Hmm. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find it later. It's over here. That's to the forest. Do I need to go to the forest? I think I just need to go to the fields. Here you go. Is this to the fields? Yeah, okay. So, what do we need to do? Get the gnomes. And I saw the gnomes. The gnomes were actually over here on this side of the river, if I remember right. Is- are they down here? Yep, they're there. How do I- what do you guys need? Puzzle box. What? I need to go get seashells? Oh my gosh! Okay, well I know there's fireflies over here, so let me- Let me get a couple of those and then I'll head over to the beach. Um, down here. Gosh, there are no reeds. Where's the little area with the... Did I pass it? Oh, I passed it. It is over here. And what do I need for those fairies? Ooh, I'm gonna get so mad. Okay, they all... Yeah, they all use the same thing. Fine by me! Oh, I need one more. Dang it. <laughs> oh no. I needed one more. Well, I'll have to come back here later. Uh, puzzle box. Puzzle box. Puzzle box. Need a seashell. So when I come back, I can uh, at least give it that. Now, where am I going to find the beach? Is the beach connected to the graveyard? I think it might, so I might have to walk all the way through that. Here we go, and then there are some- I saw some reeds up here, so I'll just- 
blink. Wow, just one. No more, no less. Oh, I just realized that's really cute, the little black sheep statue. Who would burn such a cute building? She seems to have done nothing wrong. We also get reedy, we get, get twine from rat nest. I didn't realize that either. Okay, so down here, if I can look at the map, what is this to? That's to the market. <gasps> no, wait, this is to the docks. Okay, so the village is like the hub for everything. That makes it so much easier, actually. I just need to keep following, since I have the quest everywhere else, I could just keep following this type of area. Oh, leave me alone, you little goober. So over here? <gasps> yeah! Cool, okay. Uh, what the frick are you? Deep one, are you mad at me? You are! <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, there's sheep here too. You guys out here spreading the word? Join the flock, follow the ram today. Okay, whatever. What is that? Shore skipper. This fish seems to have skipped a few evolutionary steps. Crab trap. Okay, let me get... Oh, there's actually crabs here too. Gosh, what are all these people? Fish or woman? The people here have a certain look. Yeah, they're fish. Or crab traps. I need... Oh gosh, everything's angry at me. Okay. Need that. What is that? Why do I keep hitting the wrong button? Peculiar growth. Oh. Oh, is that the teleporter? That might be the teleporter. Two... It's two... So, what? That is such a weird way to start a word. To so many passers-by, this seems yet another collection of crusty barnacles clinging to the surface of a stone until the, t the tide next surges. But you can spot the inconsistencies, the irregularities within the scattered arrangement. And with a single exacting touch, the illusion falls away. Alright, cool. So we have the portal to that now. That little girl, I think, is the starter of the next quest, but I'm not gonna even, like, attempt that right now. Um, let's see. So we got our shells. Here's another little thing of shells. No! Ow. Frick off. <laughs> That's so annoying. Can I make the box now? Oh, we haven't found any shells! Oh, no. How do we find shells? Is, are these- are digging these up not helping? Doesn't look like it. I don't know. Gosh, this area is so loud. These freaking seagulls. I should fish up something with it that had a line. Fishing spot. I don't need that. I need something else. No. No, please, no. Where do I find seashells? What are these? Barnacles? I don't need your dusty barnacles. No, 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 no. Mm. Pockets right for plucking. Okay, I don't want to do that. Unless, do I have to? No, leave me alone. Do I have to pickpocket them for shells? Hope not. <gasps> I got a freebie. I'm out of here. Frick this place. It stinks. Where's the teleporter? I think it's up here. No, it's not. Where's the teleporter? Is it up there? It is up there. I'm so... Oh, no, it's not. It's down here. Free me! <sighs> that place is a mess. Everything is just so angry at me there. I need to get to the farm. And then I can get my fireflies, craft two more shiny traps, and we're good to go. Uh... Over here. Bing boing 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 bing boing bing boing bing boing. Die. Any more reeds I can find? Pretty please. Still don't know why we need lazy grass. Okay, you're gonna attack me if I even try. <laughs> Let's get some of that. They don't get mad, do they? Oh, they do. Is he chasing me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me go to 
down here. Yeah. Click these. Okay. Get the pedals. And we keep moving. Alright. I got your little boxy boo! What is it gonna be? You're so confused you're gonna blow your top off? Haha! <laughs> Get it? Top? Your hat? Not your shirt. I don't, I don't care about your shirt. Look at that! What do you think? Alright, bye! <laughs> okay, he just disappears into the abyss. Got it. Poor little dude, he just wanted to solve things. Alright, crafting wise, I know there's like an elf right in front of me right here. So let's make this. And then make another one of these. And then make another one of these! There we go! Okay, now we're gonna get enough. Now we're cooking with gas! Please, please come back. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Okay. You like it? Yeah, little duber. Can I search this? <gasps> oh, rodent lord. Ew. Anything over here? Oh, rat nest. <gasps> Ow! Frick, I didn't see the dog! Ah! I'm gonna die! <laughs> I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! No! I'm fine. Woo, Woo Nelly! Woo Nelly! Alright. I just wanted. I just wanted the stuff. No. No. Mind your business. I'm not collecting any more of those suit sprites. I don't know what more they want from me. Now, I saw another elf, I think, on the other side of the town. I think it was past these goobers. Past the sheeple. Ha ha ha. And let me get this. Let me get your goodies. Thank you for the goodies. Oh, there's one up there. I see him. I think there's one over here. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Is there... Yeah, it's just this guy here. Hello! Shiny? Is that a mimic? Frick, man! I hate these mimics! They suck! Sweet. Thank you. Okay. We have the entire fit for our buddy boy over here who wants to look fabulous. Hopefully he likes it. Can we actually see him wear it? That would be cute. Let me collect all these things, because I kind of just am doing this to find more reeds, but... Nah, it's not working. Yay! Get this one here. Yay! Okay. Uh, here you go! I got your thingies! Uh, elf shoes. You set the tiny footwear aside. Well? Okay, sorry. Sewing kit. You tuck the sewing kit in a safe nook nearby. And gnome hat. You set the gnome hat nearby. As you present the handful of tiny clothing, the, gargo the gor gar gar gargoyle lets out a grinding screech. Eee! <laughs> what? What's wrong? These are simply magnificent. <laughs> the excited statue seems thrilled about elf shoes in particular. You nearly gave me a heart attack, and I don't see what's so great about those things. They're barely the size of thimbles. Ignoring you, the gargoyle slips the minuscule shoes onto his wiggling toes. Oh, but aren't they just lovely? <laughs> and they match my scarf. Well, I think you look ridiculous. Now tell me where the black sheep is, or I'll turn you into gravel next. No need to wrinkle up your rags. I carried her out to a secret grove in the woods to hide from the ram. Even managed to save some of her stock as well. Since you've shown yourself to be no friend to the ram, I guess I could fly you out there too. The gargoyle uh, flexes the heavy stone wings on his back. Ah! Well, that was nice of him. Ah, there she is. Oh, she is stressed. Haha, <laughs> she is stressing out. Hey, lady. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her hat. Ah, stay back! The ram sent you to finish me off, didn't he? Oh, crackers! I knew I couldn't trust that gargoyle to keep a secret! 
Calm down, I didn't come to fleece you. In fact, I came to see why that miserable ty tyrant tried to run you out of town. You glance around at the rescued rolls of patterned fabrics and balls of colored yarn. All because of this lovely textile work? I never meant to cause trouble. I just wanted to make beautiful clothing. But the ram saw my work as some affront to his great vision. He wants all us sheep to dress the same, think the same, be the same. But I don't understand. Why can't we be different? The loudest voice is seldom the wise. Tears well up in the sheep's wide-set eyes. They burned down my shop. Wool shopmen tried to kidnap me. I only barely got away. Thankfully, that helpful gargoyle was able to salvage some of my things from the fire. At a time like this, knitting clothing is the only thing I could do to calm my nerves. I hope I have enough yarn to last me. My poor spinning wheel was broken on the journey here, so I don't think I can make any more. A shame. I'm too, I'm, I too am a weaver of sorts. Your wheel can't possibly be beyond repair. Could I take a look at it? If you think it would help, be my guest. Where? Oh, here. I can whip up a spell to restore this in no time. Uh, what spell? Restorative idol. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mandrake root. Mandrake root. Oh, mosquito blood. Aww. This one's a long one. This one. This, this one's making me run for my money. And pumpkin jack bone, which means I need snare vine, which means I need more mosquito stuff. Okay, and I need smoke bombs to get the mosquito stuff, and that means I have enough for that. Alright, so I need to run off to the swamp. Take me away, please. Ah, here's the portal. At first glance, this looks like a, neg a neglected shack, long fallen into disrepair. But your canny gaze reveals its construction to be beyond the ravages of time, standing overlooked yet constant until properly disrupted. Running your nail along the grain of one of the nailed up boards proves to be just the disruption it was waiting for. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I need... Shoot, I don't know what to do first. I guess I need to go heat to the swamp first. Get some mosquito stuff. Then I need to go and get snare vine. Then I gotta go to the graveyard. I kind of forgot where the graveyard even was. Let me get all this sparkly stuff. Uh... No, I don't need the newt. Don't want to bother with it. Do you have the smoke bomb? Alright, you two. Come here. Nope. Come on, let's group up! Come on, group up, group up, group up! Group death time! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Okay. Uh, boinky, boinky, boinky. Boinky. Boinky? So, is that all I needed for. Shoot. Snare vine, sewing kit. There we go. And then. Mandrake root. I have enough of the necrotic charm. Okay, so let's head to... I'm gonna actually head to the graveyard first. I think that's easier. Where's the village? There's the village. I'm gonna head to the graveyard first just in case I need something like for the mandrakes that's like in the farm somewhere. I don't freaking... I don't, I don't know, but I feel like maybe it's easier... Graveyard. Graveyard. Where am I? This is where I am? Okay, so I need to go down where the sheep is. Okay. It's over here. Murderer! You have black right there in the middle of your chest. Does that count? Okay. What is... Ha oh! Sorry, ma'am, but I must warn you, the graveyard's not safe right now. If you got flowers, I can go lay them- I can go lay them at a grave if you want. Bleh. When I croak, nobody better bring me pois posies. What's the matter? Uh, something's got the spirits of this place riled up in a real bad way. All restless and cranky, they is. There's this horrible howling coming from the mansion up the road. A scream that chilled the bumps out right off your goose. 
Every time I gather up my wits to go take a look-see, my knees turn to jelly as soon as I set foot on the path. Mark my words, that creepy old place is haunted by something more than just a sleepless spirit. Pah, ghost stories are for children. When you get to be my age, it takes something special to put the fright in you. Well, if you're so sure about that, could you go up there and tell me what you see? Maybe it has something to do with what's going on with all these ghosts that what's got all these ghosts so agitated. Uh I just came here for mandrakes. Not a sob story. The mansion's up there. Uh so I need a mandrake. Can I collect that? Oh, I can. I just thieved. What the frick is that? What is going on? I just Ah, oh, oh. Mandrakes just grow on dead bodies. Cool. Oh, okay. That's that's nice. Very nice. Not nice. Thank you. Goodbye. Got my mandrake roots. I'm out. Ooh, and traps. Ooh, and salt. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, and there's water here. Okay, I gotta remember that. Uh, actually, let me see if I can find the portal here real quick. Um, I don't really want to waste the opportunity. Because I don't want to walk around everywhere I go. What are you? Oh, here's the portal. Easy. Where one might expect the door to a mausoleum here, instead stands a shrine adorned heavily with skulls, perhaps to deter closer inspection. But their arrangement does not serve the dead, nor their memory. Instead, being placed to a mask, a path beyond, your knowing fingers reduce it to a dust with a tap. There we go. So now let's head to the farm. And I can make the snare vines right now, right? Yeah. And then what does this cost? Oh, this costs nothing. Might use that more often. Use that to at least get home. On the walk. It's not a bad walk either. Kind of like the walk. It's kind of peaceful. Mm. Got your thingies, you little loser. Here you go. Don't hurt me! There we go. Boom. Bye! So that's everything, right? I do I'm not doing that chapter, I just realized. I'm not I'm doing the ram. Okay. Is that... Is that everything? Make this. Okay, and then I may need to make two of these. Oh, I'm out of that. Oh, snap. Okay, I gotta go walk around the forest for a little bit, it seems like. I think that's fine. We haven't been- we haven't spent any time in the forest lately. I'm not mad at that. So I need to go... Here. Nope, that's the swamp. Why do I always try to go there? Okay. Um... Can I- Are we just hiding the herbs now? Is that what we're doing? Uh, where? Are, what, oh, there's one. What the frick? Why are there so little right now? There's like nothing here. I need to gather like a few too. Mm. There's nothing here. I don't need any of that. Where is the- I mean, I don't need, like, so many, but I, you know, it's good to at least have them. What is this anyways? Forest herb. It doesn't even tell me what specific herb it is. But I at least made that. This figure has so com has so commanding a presence as to demand an order of things disarrayed in its presence. Okay. Uh... Whoa. Watch where you're swinging that thing, buddy. I'm gonna collect all these suit sprites. Watch me need 50 suit sprites for like the end game. Okay. You're literally swinging at nothing. It's fine though. I don't judge you, but everyone else will. There's no herbs here. <laughs> There's just not a single herb here. Oh, uh, what the? Why is there nothing? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. 
Ah, am I finally being blessed with the presence of them? And this is just frogs and yada yada. We don't need those. Mm, oh, there's another one. Yay! We have three now. Alright, I'll leave. Three's enough for me to just go home and quit yapping. Bye! Okay. Let's go villages up here. So we still haven't gone to the market yet. But maybe we just don't need to for this chapter. Who knows? Mm. I'm lost. How do I get lost so quickly? Where's the gargoyle? Is he up here? Oh, he's up here. That's why. Mm. Okay, lady. I got what we needed. Hopefully that helps. As good as new. A few splints and some elbow grease and she's all ready to go. Wow, really? Thank you so much. What can I ever do to repay you? I think together we should repay that stinking ram for causing this mess in the first place. I have an idea to knit him a cardigan he won't soon forget. Why, a special gift? That's a lovely idea. But it will need a personal touch. Some wool collected from those dim-witted followers of his should do the trick. Mm, the ram guards his flock like an ogre. You won't be able to get a single hair off them with him watching. That is a problem. Oh, unless you find his missionaries. Sometimes the ram sends out loyal sheep to spread the word. Why, I bet if anyone could find them, it's you. You found me, after all. He spouts his gibberish to the corners of the world. Uh, where are these missionaries? Nearer than you think. They usually travel to the docks, the graveyard, and the market. Well, now we're going to the market. <laughs> a shame they won't have the ram's protection. Uh, I've got plenty of fleece here, but if you need something special of mine, just put it by the spinning wheel. Three sheep wheel, metamorphous elixir, and crypt crawler silk. Ah, uh, crypt crawler silk, I'm assuming is in the graveyard. Uh, and then soothing root, metamorphous elixir. I need freaking changeling root. <laughs> ah! Alright. All right, you know what? I got it. I got it. Let's let 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 me uh let me cry. Um, I know that we saw one at the docks. I'm just gonna go walk to him right now, and see what he needs because I'll need three of them. And then, crypt crawler silk. I have no idea where specifically in the graveyard we're gonna find it, but we'll find it. We'll find it. I got it. I got it. It's covered. It's covered. Oh, why am I auto walking? Uh, where are you? Hey, boo! What do you mean, unknown? Here to spread the worldly word of his would be messiah. Alright, buddy. How do I talk to him? Hey, hey, you! You know what stinks around here? Your breath? Maybe cut back on the crabgrass. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny! Talking about all these mismatched folks! Walking around like disgusting individuals. Don't they care about unity at all? Aren't they lonely? Don't they want to be a part of something bigger? How, how are they not full to the brim with pure horror of existential dread? You leave the sheep to spiral deeper in his own metaphysical spit. Hmm. This fellow seems to be projecting some deep-seated issues. Perhaps if I give him a little push, he won't mind if I pilfer some of his wool. Bottled Despair Recipe. This poor little sheep is about to just get so much dread. Oh, weird water. Oh. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got it. Uh, Spectral Tears. Holy cow. Okay, so a lot of it seems to be in the graveyard itself. I know there was a water source um, somewhere. There was a water source in the village somewhere. I think it was up north. <sighs> what a pain. I'm already, I feel suffering. Like, I don't mind the grind at all. I think it's fun, but I can, t like, obviously I'm going to edit it down. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit. Where is this water source? 
Hey, Elber, welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, water source, water source, water source, water source. Is this the water source? No. That's a mean doggy, though. I have no idea where this water source is. I lost it. So, I need to, uh... Ooh, man. Once I make that, I should be fine. But I still need to go to the mandrake root and all that. Let me see. Can I... Um, there has to be somewhere where... Where was that water source? It was, like, very small. Maybe it was on the... Would it be on the right side of the map? I have no idea. Mm, I have no no. I don't know. Uh, hey, Alexand. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day, man. Uh, can't find it. I can't find the water. Is this the water? Can I fill here? No, he's just going to steal from me. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know where the water is. Is this the water? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The freaking well in the dead middle. I am so stupid. Okay. We got that. Now we can get... We could just go straight to the graveyard. Which is right here. So how convenient. Spectral tears. I have no idea how to get spectral tears. Would it be from like that head that we saw? Because there was like a floating head around. And he looked like something that we can interact with. But I didn't really pay mind to it. Mandrake. There we go. That's one. What do I need? Two more? Mm, I don't think we can mess with the hand. There's another Mandrake for us. Nice. And now... Spectral Tears. There's a floating head somewhere. You. Spirit Salts. Okay, please make that. Failing powder. Nice. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. That work? No, that that just gave me a mummified head. Uh. Okay. What about this buddy? Oh no, that guy's crying. Weeping specter. Oh ghost, why do you weep? Sobbing with a grief, transcending death. Oh. Uh, you need a soothing stone. Please tell me that's cheaper to make. Oh my gosh, it's not. What? It's so expensive. It's so expensive. Uh, I need a perfect potion. I need another jar of water. Well, luckily I've been... Okay, see, look at that. Look how nice that number is because I've been collecting stuff. So I can easily just go up, go get it, and then come back down. I could use a soothing stone. <laughs> I'll make one for you, Tyler. I'll make one for you. Uh, where is my jar? Where, where inventory? I just give me. Can I have? Oh, how does this work? Gosh, that's such a confusing inventory. Okay. Potion. There we go. Soothing stone. Okay. Hopefully you feel soothed, my guy. Alright, where are you? I got my soothing stone. Weep no longer. Your friend is here. Where? Oh, there you are. Weep no more. Oh, there's more tears. Oh, nice. Run! Please don't eat me. I'm not tasty, I swear. Okay, that was... Da, 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 da. Woo, we did it! Bottle despair! Yippee! Now we can go and make this guy cry his pants off. Make him realize that being sheeple will do nothing for him. Make him realize he's a hopeless man with hopeless dreams. Make him feel insecure. Alright, let's...
Alright. Hey, sir! You're good for nothing! Nothing you do will matter! Cry! Cry! The sheep's eyes glaze over as he looks deep into his soul and sees only nothingness. What's the point of it all? I, I'm so alone! Poor fella. He'll feel better when the curse lifts, but it'll be too late for his wool. Snip snip! Sorry, buddy. Sorry, can I just get three? I mean, he's got a whole lot. You collect a clump of wool and pat the sheep on his fluffy head. There, there. Things aren't always so bad. Why don't you run off home to your flock? Y you're right! Maybe I'm not so alone after all! The sheep wipes away a dewy tear from his face and lopes off towards the village. Sweet. Now- Oh, there was one in the graveyard! I haven't seen the graveyard one. We've been in the graveyard this entire time. I did not- Watch the graveyard guy need stuff from the de the beach. This is- This the type of game to, uh, to do that. All right, where are you? Spreading your propaganda, spreading your lies. Oh, there was water right here. I did not need to go to the freaking. I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. Maybe I should follow this ram guy since I'm dumb enough to forget the simplest of things. Where are you? You're not by the freaking. Oh, oh, that's where I get the cryptic webs. I bet. Where is? Ah. Uh... I know he can't be, like, in the mansion area, can't- Oh, there he is. Hey, loser. Why are you up here? Who- Why would you come here to recruit people if everyone here is dead? Who's there? Show yourself in the name of Ram. No need to be jumpy, my friend. I'm just a lonely old woman coming to grieve. Oh, I thought you were one of those nasty ghosts. Usually this place is pretty dull, but lately there's been nothing but angry spirits. He glances over his shoulder in near panic. Oh, why the ram send me here? This place gives me the creeps. You scratch your cauldron <laughs> in thought as the sheep jumps at nearby patches of mist. Oh, look how cute they are. They are harmless. Hmm. Looks like all I need to do is give this chap a good fright and his wool will be mine for the picking. Haunted mannequin recipe. Oh boy! What is this gonna take? What is that? Ghostly ectoplasm. Dreadful doll. Which I need to make that. Okay. And I need to go get grain. Great! I love doing that. And then I need... Ghostly ectoplasm. Is that from this guy who's just like wandering around chilling out? Because he seems freaking creepy. I need bat wings. How do I get Bat wings! Probably in the crypt, actually. Uh, excuse me, man. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, he's a weeper. I thought he was something else. There be bats in the crypt? Uh, let's see. Okay. Alright. Whoa! Spooky! That's the spider we need. Arachnicide? What was that? End cap. Chances are there's a corpse in here as well. I mean, wh why let me look at it then? <laughs> no bats here? Oh, excuse me. Uh, nah, excuse me. No bats? Hey, how you doing? Uh, hey, what's what's popping? No bat wings? Alright, got it. Nice, nice seeing you. Bye! Ooh. All right, let's see. E ooh, e ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. No bats here. Got it. I don't know. Bats cave. Bats in the cave. Not here. Got it. Piggy. Nice symbol. Okay, then. Excused. Thanks, bro. Where are these little bugger bats? Ah, they're just... Bait stick. Oh, so easy. How many do I need? Need two. Okay, how many bait sticks can we be? Uh... One, two. All right. How does this? How does this work? Hmm. 
Nice. Dang it, it wastes one too. Oh, but I get blood too. Nice. Uh, I love mobile games. How about you? I don't play a lot of mobile games because I've realized that if I get if I start playing a lot of mobile games, I get like really addicted to them. <laughs> so I I try my best in my for my own safety to uh, avoid mobile games. All right, I got all the blood. Uh, oh, I need to make that frick. Okay, now I got everything. All right, here we go, buddy. Where are you? I got my bat wings. No, don't don't get me. Where is he? I mean, there's one easily in the crypt. Ah, here you are. Ah, there's my ectoplasm. Sweet. Okay. So that me that that means I can do. Okay. So now I need. I just need to go get some grain, and then I should be able to scare this boy. Simple enough. Easy enough. But yeah, mobile games, I used to play like a butt ton of them. <laughs> Maybe too many. Especially if I'm like knowing I'm going on a trip, I'll download like a bunch of different mobile games. Um, just to really just keep myself entertained when I'm away from home. They're fun to pass time with, no doubt. Come on, come, come. There we go. I don't know why I was hesitant on that. And. Nice. Okay. Should be enough green to last me a while. Dreadful doll. Haunted mannequin. Sweet. Let me collect these. No idea if I'm going to be needing them or not. <laughs> Mobile games are inferior to the NES console series games. Yep, of course they are, Tyler. Of course they are. <laughs> That's why you want to quit so bad, right? That's why. Alright, bucko. I got your stupid little mannequin. Now scream for me. Aww. The skittish sheep nearly jumps out of his pelt in horror. Ay! Now's my chance to shear his wool before he comes back to his senses. Cool. Snip. Nice. You quickly snip a handful of wool from his quaking body. Forget this! I don't care how angry the ram gets! I'm going back to the flock! Smart choice. Smart man. I wouldn't want to hang here anyways. All the ghosts are so pissed off. Well, except for this guy. This guy's just very sad. Poor guy. He, he just needs a hug. I can't hug him, though. He's a ghost. Obviously. Market! I don't know where the market is. I'm just gonna go to the village. Oh! Did I not pick up the wool? Did I not? Why did it say one out of three? Did I not pick it up? Did I not pick it up? No. I don't want the game to break. I don't know if this- Listen, I play Dreamlight Valley, right? The game- The game- That game breaks all the time. Uh, d please tell me that it's the wool still there. <laughs> please? Please? Oh no. Uh, did I not pick up the wool from the beach? Uh, 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 oh, oh, I'm stressing. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Hey, do you have the wool anywhere? Oh no. Uh, did I leave it at the beach? I. I, I I don't know. Is it at is it is it, is it uh, 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 a beach? Beach? Be beach? He was down here. There's nothing here. No. Oh, I did forget it at the beach. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. And the village is right here. All right, all right. Whew, we we can chill out now. I just totally forgot to pick up the wool. It's a little sandy. It's a little soggy. A crab lives in it now, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. She probably had crabs anyways. Let's go. So now I need to go here. So I need to go up the bridge to the right. Up the bridge to the right. Up the bridge to the right. 
to the right, to the right. Let's see how nice this market is. What's cooking in here, huh? More mimics? Are you a mimic? You suck! I hate the little tuft of fur. Ooh, I do not need to see your pubes. Thank you. Let's see, where is this? Sh there he is. Oh, this place is kind of nice, though. Is this a- hold on, are you having a mimic here? <gasps> it's not a mimic. Oh, but I can't use it. Oh. Oh, those guys are arguing. Okay. Oh, is this the portal? A great offering of produce sits before this effigy, but you glimpse a single telltale marker secreted into one of the baskets. A quick tug and the illusion is dispelled. Alright, sweet. So now we have the teleporter for that. Here you go. Hey, buddy. Hey, excuse me, madam. Have you heard about the ram? The one true leader? Oh, truly. I don't have time for this. Just look at all these clothing stalls around us. It's, it's revolting. So many patterns. They make my eyes water with rage. Oh, I'll show you some eye-watering patterns, all right. A good magic show ought to set you spinning. Pre- Wow, that's a word. Prestigitation deck recipe. Yep, I know what that is. Mmm. Uh. Huh? Huh? What is all this now? Glitter bomb. Oh, I've done a glitter bomb before. Right? It's a little early on. No? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Where is the. Okay. And now I need shiny lure. Which, thankfully, I can make. Okay, this one actually might be the easiest one so far. Now I just need to find... Muscles. Skipper scales. No! Skipper scales. So does that have to deal with... The fish people? Are the fish people skippers? I have no idea. Hey, but we almost got all the portals open. That's pretty cool. But skipper scales. I have n no idea for skipper scales. Um, are they called skippers? Deep one. I don't know, but they have scales. I don't know if they mean the fisher woman. Let's try it. Uh, how? What do you want? How do I? How do I? How do I? How do I? How do I make this? Oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> oh gosh, skipper scales. Is there no other way? <laughs> Can I go cry? I mean, it's 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 my only guess. I don't Oh, I'm stuck. Oh no. Excuse me. Woo! Woo! Ow, frick. <laughs> Dang it. Wait, are those skipper scales? These look like scales for me. They have a certain look. I doubt I'm going to be using a pickpocket to like pick off their scales. So, I guess I'll check there. There's a chest here. Ah, oh, come on, you don't have skipper skills for me in there? Please don't be mad at me. What about fishing spot? Let me try fishing. It's not gonna hurt if I fish. It's literally just a material, so. Uh, fishing lure. Key. Okay. Here. Ah! Oh, so I just get a fish. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I guess I'll have to make a, uh, uh, whatever title tincture. Oh, wait, no, there you go. The title tincture requires skipper scales. So... What? If the title tincture requires skipper scales... Are you a skipper? Are you the skipper? You are! Okay. That makes so much more sense. I forgot you guys existed. Um, I need to make two of those. Wow, I am so low on reads right now. Please tell me that this is enough. Please tell me you dropped two. Please. Please just drop two. Did you drop two? Oh, I love you. Well, I don't really love you, but I appreciate you. And you gave me meat. I appreciate your meat. Never mind. Um, here we go. I made the Prestigidation Mcfilation Aperturation Deck. Oh, this lamb is gonna be so bamboozled by my card tricks. Uh, over here? 
Here we go. Dazzle. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. You like that? The sheep goes cross-eyed at the blinding display of pure magical speculation as you shuffle the deck of enchanted cards. Ah! It's so... It's so... Ah! I can't see! That's right. Keep your eyes on the pretty colors while I shear you bald. Aw, poor little buddy. Thank you. Before the sheep can recover his eyesight, you snip a healthy patch of wool from his backside. Ah, I can still see the colors even when I close my eyes. Out of my way. I can't preach like this. I've got a I have to I got to get back to the flock. All right, bucko. Okay. All that, huh? Now I need to make arachnicide. Ah, oh, there's where the soots come in and potion of blight. And thankfully I can make another potion of blight. Okay. And I can make arachnicide and hopefully that gives me what I need for crawler silk. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Please make my life easy. I beg. I beg of thee. Make my life easy. Uh, I love computer games out too. How about you? I am a little too obsessed with computer games. Yeah, I can <laughs> I can attest to that. A good variety of them too. I'm not like a type of person who can like stick to one right now. I used to, but right now I need to play like a whole bunch. This one's a great one. I, d I do like this game. Alright, you little arachnids. Where... Whoa, spooky ghost noises. Here you go. Like, eat that, you little turd. Oh. Ish blows. Oh, you give me bug icker too. Oh, I love you. Alright, now we need metamorphosis. Which was enough bug icker, so now we just need to go get changely root, and then we're done! Yay! Changeling root should be easy. I think all I need is just to cut them. And then, uh, cut them up, and then I should be good. Need to go. Oakley dokley. Let's see. Mm, I think they're here. Is this the changeling? Yeah, it is. Alright, bucko. Say your prayers. Oh, there's one here. Haha. <laughs> Let me get this guy too. Sweet. And then bink. Nice! Alright, cool. Mm, so now we just need to get to I guess. Hmm. No, that's it, so I just I forgot how we get to the black sheep with the gargoyle. That's right. Gosh. My memory is like a goldfish. Okay. Uh, up here. Binky. Oh, hi! Uh, let's go. I have everything you need, lady! Everything! Alright, sheep wool. Three lots of wool taken from the ram's flock are most eager to please any hand that guides them. I've got plenty of fleece here. Yep, okay. Metamorphous elixir. A metamorphous elixir will really make these garments pop. <laughs> and crypty, crypt crawler silk. Crypt crawlers walk the line between the mundane and the supernatural, and their silk holds the key to that boundary. With all the goods at hand, you wave the black sheep over to the spinning wheel to get started. A bit stiffer than I'm used to, but I can work with this. She rolls up her sleeves and prepares the bobbin. As the black sheep manages the wheel, you assist by weaving your own magic into the fibers as you feed them through the device. Dazzling colors of every hue shoot out of the whirling wheel, sending sparks dancing into the underbrush. Soon, a large ball of rainbow-tinted yarn is wound together. Wow, we didn't even have to use any of the dye! Any dye! I can use your help anytime! She gathers up the yarn and admires it before handing it to you. <gasps> so pretty! Oh, so cute! My thanks to you. I couldn't have done it without your skill at the wheel. Say, you should think about returning to the village soon. Your little doggy friend is... 
it was quite worried about you last time I saw him. Oh my gosh, I was such in a panic, I completely forgot about him. But what about the ram and his flock? I'm a goner if I go back there. You leave that to me. Oh, it's time. Is this really all we need? Rainbow yarn to piss him off? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of great, honestly. Revisit the ram at the village square. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Color is the path to division, and division is the bedfellow of damnation. Bah, bah, bah. Gosh, it's like they're all like formed into one ball. But this guy seems over it. <laughs> you twist the length of your multicolored thread into a makeshift lasso. The shifting colors make the thread appear to be alive. What nonsense! I'll just loop my magic yarn around each other, each of these sheep, and show them the world is more than black and white. Oh, really? He. Oh, that's cool! <laughs> Look at you, you're dancing! Yeah, everybody, everybody, it's party time! It's party time! Look at that! Fashionable! Way better than before! Stopping in the middle of his sermon, the ram notices that his flock is no longer paying attention to him. Oh, look, they look so good! The flock turns away from the ram's raving and fu fully enraptured by the colorful thread. Hey, what are you fools doing? This is the black sheep's work. Wow, we just assumed it was ugly because the ram said so. No, you idiots. It's wrong. Have you forgotten everything I taught you? Ha <laughs> ha look at all these wild colors. I never knew wool could be so neat. Stop looking at the colors. Amongst the commotion, the voice of the black sheep pipes up. Oh, um, thank you. I'm so glad that you all appreciate my handiwork. Are you kidding? This is the most amazing wool we've ever seen. Where can we get some more? Stop. Listen to me. Oh, wow, look at all these customers. We need to get that shop of yours r up and running again. You're right. Oh my, this is also overwhelming. Looks like it's time to roll up my sleeves and get back to work. Does this mean you'll reopen your wool shop? We'll help fix it up again if it means we can get more of these fantabulous colors. Rargh! The ram swings his bronze bell harder and harder, desperately trying to be heard over the joyful celebrations of his flock. Is that it? He just turned into it? Oh my, what in the dickens happened? I guess he claimed that awful bell just a little too hard, gave his own head a proper ringing until it couldn't take any more. You glance over to the ram's empty soapbox. A fitting end, I suppose. A shepherd is nothing without his flock. Oh! You pick up the bell, but not a sound emanates from it. Something is muffled. You turn it over to look inside, and find the metal clanger is covered in a familiar, bristly, white wool. The soul of the ram. Oh! That was a good one! Oh my gosh, that was cool. Ah, oh man, I don't know if I could do one more. My throat is actually, like, dying over here. But that was a good one. I think that was- that was one of the ones that I remember was, like, kind of wild in the sense of, like, the views that they kind of were hinting at. <laughs> just all being the same you can't have any difference and then the whole beat rejecting the black sheep but i do like the ending look at that they're all happy oh i wanted to see um real quick uh if in the farm for the farm can we uh let me see shoot where am i look where's the teleporter i want to see if the mom and baby ox is back home i didn't know if like they just are disappeared with the ox or what? Cause I I don't know, in my memory, I think they do come back, but I don't really want to take my I, I I'm refusing to believe myself basically. I don't think they were there, were they? Let me see. Oh they were! Oh, Standing at the front gate, the ox's missing wife and son blink in confusion, as if they had just burst forth from the earth itself. Ma? What happened? Ah, welcome back. I suppose you don't remember much. He really did it, didn't he? That stupid festival prize was worth more to him than us. Where is he? Where is my husband? Don't fret. I've already set things straight. 
He won't be troubling you again. And you've got this nice fertile farm all to yourself now. My son and I worked ourselves to the bone for that horrible man. Thank you for lifting the curse. Just do me a favor and don't make any deals with suspicious scarecrows. Ah. Don't worry now, child. We won't ever have to fear him again. Dang. But why is he still here? Scarecrow again stands motionless. Hopefully we can get this place running. It took me a lot of poison to destroy this place. Aww. Well, we have this garden to work on. Aww. With the music, too? Making my heart melt a little. <sighs> kind of weird that she married an ox, though. I can't lie. You know, I don't know if she views him as an ox or whatever. And then they had a human child as well. I don't know if that makes sense to me. But hey, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> but I think I'm going to leave it here because my voice is actually just, like, drained. We got a couple chapters in. And I think that's fine. I'm definitely going to take this more. Like, I want to do more of this. And hopefully we can get maybe the cat and the rat next. Or the fish or whatever. But... Yep, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for your support, uh, for joining in, liking, subscribing, following. All of it is very much appreciated. I hope everyone has a beautiful rest of their day and hopefully a good start to their weekend. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. See y'all later.